Right, now what we're going to do is, having completed the basic settings, I'm just going to have a look at some of the other tiles that you've got, some of the other options. What I should explain at this point is that these Garmin units are mass produced for a global market that covers things like um, leisure, boat people, uh, hunting, fishing, geocaching people. Um, and so that basically what I'm trying to say is there's lots of crap on the device which we don't want and we don't need. Um, for example here, look, you've got your geocaching thing, uh, your route planner, which is for driving with the device, not something you're going to be doing. You've got um, area calculation, a calendar, a photo viewer, you know, it's all stuff that, that we're not interested in. So the first job just now is to get rid of all that stuff. So you want to make sure that you're in this main menu. You remember that to get to that, you just do page until you hover over main menu and then boff, it appears. Now you're going to hit menu again and it'll give you the option to change the item order. So you say, yes, please, I want to do that. And now it gives you all your items. And my first victim is going to be geocaches. I want to get rid of geocaching. I'm just not into it. So I'm going to hit enter over geocaches and I'm going to remove it. Likewise, for sharing wirelessly, I don't think it's useful. I'm going to remove it. You get the idea now. I'm going to go down to site and go, pointless, remove. Area calculation, pointless, remove it. Photo viewer, you might want this on there for some of the work that you guys do on rescues, but I don't want it. Calendar, no thanks, remove. Calculator, no thanks. Sun and moon phases, no, remove. Alarm clock, no, I've got young children, I get woken every morning, I don't need an alarm clock, remove. Hunt and fish, not for me, remove. Stopwatch, no. Satellite, that's quite useful just to see what you've got. Adventures, I'll be dead honest, I don't even know what that one is, but I don't want it. This is remote control for Garmin's own brand of GoPro camera. Not interested. Elevation plot, I don't like it. Gone. Compass is quite useful. And that's it. Okay. So now what I'm left with is just the useful things, right? So I can now quit this menu. And what I've got now is a much smaller list of items. Look, I've only got I think eight left on there now, which is ideal. So what I might even do is go into setup, enter, and display now. I'm gonna change my main setup item here to a grid of 12 items. And I'm now gonna exit that menu. And look here, I've now got um, if I quit that, I've now got all my items that I want all just neatly set up in one place. Okay, so here we go, look, I can go to page. I can now hover over my different things, right? I've got map, trip computer, main menu, map, trip computer, main menu. That's all I really want in here, right? Back to their main menu. And we'll just bring up the map page there. Okay. So this page is really the one that we're interested in. This is the useful bit. And this is the bit that we're going to concentrate on using next Thursday. What I'm going to suggest you do between now and then is simply take the device outdoors next time you go for a walk between now and next week and just play around with it because part of the purpose of getting you to reset all the menus was just that now you know your way around the device. 
So when you're out for your walk, you know, you can play around with simple stuff like zooming out, seeing what happens to the scale, zooming in, seeing what happens to the scale. You could have fun using the find and mark functions on there. Basically play around with it, but I don't want to steal too much of the thunder from, uh, from next Thursday. But hopefully now you've got a basic intro to the device. And, and you're starting to feel a bit more confident with uh, just getting your way around the menus. Okay, thanks guys. I know it's uh, not been the most interesting watch, but hopefully you've been able to, to follow along and we'll look forward to seeing you next Thursday. All right, bye.